We've got new fish for the Breeding for Profit program. Stay tuned. Hey, 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 what is going on guys? This is Jason with Jadron Aquatics. Thanks for hanging out with me in the fish room. Yes, we've got more new fish for the Breeding for Profit program. A bunch of amazing, amazing looking fish. But before we get to that guys, if you guys were ever interested in joining my channel and you want to learn more about it, um, I made a quick video um, just right up above where the subscribe button is. There's a, a button that says join. If you click that button, you can see it's just a little two minute video. So you can see uh, some of the free stuff that I plan on giving out. Um, didn't cost anything to actually click on the button to take a look at it. So if you guys don't mind, take a second, uh, go take a look at that. Um, part of the plan is, like I've said before, is I'm going to start selling fish. And so people that are members are gonna get first choice. So new fish that we got in, we got a bunch of killifish in. I've absolutely fallen in love with these fish. They are so beautiful. So now it's weird, I'm setting up all these little small four and five gallon tanks, which is just not typically me. But as you guys know that watch my channel for a while, this is the ever-changing fish room of Jason. <laughs> oh, it's ever changing. But now because of all these small tanks, I think I finally hit a hundred, I think I finally hit a hundred tanks in here. Even though, what does that really mean if you've got a bunch of four gallon tanks? So let's go ahead and let's head over there so you guys can take a look at some of these amazing, amazing fish. All right, first fish that we have here is the uh, red stripe killie. Uh, this is the uh, male right here. You see he's just absolutely stunning. Back there in the back is a female. She doesn't have a, uh, like most female killifish, doesn't have a, a lot of color uh, at all. Gosh, this, I just, I can't get enough of looking at these fish. Um, here's the actual sticker from the bag if you want to see what the scientific name is. I don't know how to pronounce these whatsoever, so I'm not even going to begin to even try. This is the uh, Bivadium Killy. Again, just another just absolutely stunning fish. You'll notice in the tanks too, some of them are gonna have uh, spawning mops and some of them are, are not. Um, there's certain types of killifish that will uh, spawn in plants and therefore you know, typically spawn in a spawning mop. And then there's others that are only gonna spawn in some type of substrate. And so you'll see that in those, I've got uh, peat set up in those. And there's the tag for that one. All right, here we have the uh, filamentosa killi. Now you'll notice in here, uh, we've got this extra container. That's the container of peat. So this type of killi is the one uh, that actually the male and the female go down into this, dig into this peat, and lay the eggs inside the peat. And the whole idea with that is, is they typically come from an area, uh, you know, that dries out. And so these eggs will stay uh, dried out for four, three, four months until the rainy season comes. So that's the idea of what you have to recreate um, with the conditions to get these guys to actually uh, hatch eggs. Okay, and here we have uh, this by, by far right now is my favorite one. As you can probably tell, this guy is absolutely stunning. This is the uh, uh, Ranchovial uh, Killy. Now, this type of Killy is from the uh, Nothobranchius. Um, type of killy. Now these type of killifish typically only live about four to six months. Again, it's that whole dry season thing. Uh, they'll lay a whole bunch of eggs in this peat throughout the uh, wet season and then where they live it always dries up and so they die and then these eggs um, will sit there dry for again for a few months until it rains and then they'll hatch again. But it's you know it's sad that it, these guys are just so strikingly beautiful but yet only live uh, three or four months. So that's kind of the fun is to keep uh, reproducing these guys so that you have more. But man, look at the color on that guy. And then here's the uh, scientific name for these guys. If you guys are enjoying this video, would you take just a quick second and click the like button? That way YouTube will share this video with other people. And for the 62.4% of you that are watching this video that are not subscribed to my channel, 
would love for you guys to become a part of my community and just click that subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me. All right, here we have the Kasaki Killy. You guys can see again, this is another uh, substrate spawner. And let's see, here's the female. And again, the female just doesn't have a tremendous amount of color. Again, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. These tanks that I have these guys in, these are about four gallon tanks. They really don't need any uh, uh, type of filtration um, because of where they come from. A lot of people just keep these things in tanks that don't have any type of pumps or air or, or anything at all. That makes me a little bit nervous, so I still have sponge filters in mine. All right, here we have the Constancii uh, killifish. You can see that this one is a, a different type of species because he just, just looks totally different uh, than the rest of them. But again, just beautiful. Female has quite a bit more color uh, on these fish. Again, these are also uh, substrate spawners. I haven't tried to uh, pull any of the eggs yet. I've had them in here for four or five days, so I don't know if they've actually laid eggs. I see them in there um, all the time, but I've yet to actually pull them. Of course, I'll be doing videos later showing you guys how to breed these things and exactly how you make all this work. All right, and then last but not least, we have here the Pearl Killy. You can see this guy is stunning. Absolutely stunning. This guy likes a little bit cooler water. Um, that's why he's actually at the very bottom of the stand, because um, it typically stays about four to five degrees cooler uh, on the bottom. The female's hiding back there, kind of behind the, the peat, so you can barely see her. But this guy, he is absolutely stunning. All right, so there you go. There are my new killifish. Um, I'm actually in the process of buying more small aquariums and finding more space to put these things in because I want more and more of these things. There are so many species avail available these things. I literally had no idea and I've absolutely fallen head over heels. Um, I even joined the American Killie Association, which after getting there, it seems to be like very inactive now. <laughs> I'm glad I paid my $35 for that. So you guys got any questions or comments, be sure and leave them down below. So thanks again, guys, and God bless.